This is a demo of the new report designer. What we're going to do is demo the new functionality uh, with the report design wizard as well as create a report with the report designer from scratch. So we're going to go into the wizard and we're going to select a template. Now these templates are created with the report designer and along with that you can also add to that template a default query associated with it so when the user comes in to the template they could have a query already set up for them like I have here. I'm going to pick some things to go in the groups and the selected items the details so for the groups I'll put product line and product vendor for the selected items or details section of the report I'll select these columns as well as the buy price and MSRP. And then you are now into the layout step. So we can preview the report without even having to do anything in layout. Or we can also then add, add additional formatting to each column. So we can rename the column name. We can adjust the column width for each column. We can also set up the alignment and the formatting for each one, as well as aggregation, so how the data would be summarized. So I'm going to quickly go through and set this one to auto, so this is going to take up all the available space that's left after I defined them for each one of these columns. And I'll apply some data formatting to this. formatting on that. Preview it. Looks good. And then I can push it into the report designer. So there it is in the report designer. And then once I preview it, you can see the report here in the preview mode. Now some things with the report designer that we've done. Um, one is, if you notice those little gray lines in there, um, Every element can be lined against one another outside of each other's bands. So if you want to line up things across various bands, you can do that uh, with the new designer. Um, the palette has more items in there, spark line, um, barcode elements to it, as well as the. you'll notice that the structure and data is broken out. So it used to be just one tree to the right. Now you have two, one that has the data elements. So um, queries as well as functions, uh, calculations for the report, and then parameters. So you can drag and drop uh, parameters to be dynamically driven by combo boxes uh, within inside the report. So um, what I'm going to do now is create a report using just the a blank report. So starting from scratch. So what I'll have to do now is um, select a data source so go to the data tab right click I can get my I get my list of data sources so we have JDBC Pentaho metadata we can also get data from Kettle um, we have Mondrian data sources XML is a data source table which is a a way of just getting information from a straight table that you create with inside the designer so if you want to prototype some data you can use a table um, data source connection as well as there's an advanced item so you can do things like get data from a Java method, JavaScript, um, from a Hibernate uh, uh, database um, as well as 
um, using any one of these uh, other JDBC ones where you can dynamically create the queries on the fly. So I'm going to choose JDBC, create my query. So I'm just going to quickly just adjust this report. This is the same exact query that we just did in the other designer, other in the uh, wizard. Preview it. We can also preview it from just the main window as well as set parameters on it so um, we can say that we just want the first 100 rows of data in my preview or the first 10. So I can put 10 in here and we only get 10 rows of data. So you can, um, for um, prototyping purposes, you can you know, narrow the data set down. I'll hit OK and then you'll notice that the items end up in my tree and then I just simply drag and drop these into the report so I can just drag and drop um, product code in there product name make that bigger scale if I want scale in there and for instance put in quality in stock and then to build in the groups so I just go into um, group editor here and it groups start adding groups so first one to be line and select a field for that and then we can also do um, vendor And you'll notice that I'll have some additional groups set up. So this will be my first group, and there's my second group. So what I can do here now is add in what I want to display. So I can turn off this so I can see all my group A pieces in the header, and then drag and drop product line and drag vendor into the report. preview it and then there's my report now another thing that we can do is you know if I wanted to format the whole report and set up a default font for the whole report I can just select the master report go to my style element and then we can set up the default font for the whole report by just selecting um, it at the master report level and then everything else is just inherited down that's why these little check boxes here talked about in here it's that these you're getting properties from a parent um, node so when I go and preview now you'll notice that everything now is an aerial so that was uh, creating a report using the report wizard as well as creating a report with inside the designer as far as with inside for designer from scratch from a blank report